Hey everybody and welcome back to Das Studio. In this video we're going to look at building a movie set or an apartment from scratch using primitives. Before I get started a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So the first thing that we need to do really is if we're going to replicate a movie set or a film set is find some reference material and primarily we're interested in the floor plan. Now I've pulled a floor plan off of the uh, internet and I am going to build the set from that one and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly accurate. Um, generally speaking, the only reason you do this is if you were going to make a spoof of that particular TV show or movie. But you could also use these floor plans to kind of build your own sets and customize them to yourself. Um, that will give your players or the viewer a kind of feeling of familiarity without it being a complete knockoff. So the first thing we want to do is work on our floor plan which obviously requires a floor. So we're going to click on this object button up here, the create primitives icon, and we're going to select plane and we're going to make it, I'm going to go with about 20 meters across and I'm going, no, I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to go even better. I'm going to go 40 meters across and then divisions wise, I am going to go for in the region of about 50 divisions. That will give me a reasonable now I'm going to go 80 actually that gives me 50 centimeter or 500 millimeter uh, sections to work on so we're going to click on that okay and then we're going to have to zoom way out way 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 out like this and as you can see now we have our square and what we're going to do is we're actually going to switch to wire texture shading now we can see our divisions and if I pull up my floor plan again I can now start measuring things up and I can check that I've got things more or less correct. So looking at the floor plan, if it's got furniture on it, that's going to make life an awful lot easier for you to get some sense of scale. And in this particular floor plan, I can see that there's a bathtub drawn out on there. And bathtubs are generally in the region of about two meters along. Um, so or six foot if you're uh, using imperial measurements. So that will give us uh, the, the kind of feeling of scale that we can work on from the rest of the apartment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my geometry editing tool, which is this button up here that looks like a pencil hovering over a checkerboard. And I'm going to make sure that I've got my plane selected. And now I can go to selection type, polygon selection, which is fine. I want to select my faces, selection mode, I'm going to go with drag selection just for now and then I can sticking with my reference material I'm going to keep referring back to it I'm obviously not it's not on the screen for you guys but I have now seen it so it's a case of just kind of imagining what's going on and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to in fact I'm actually going to switch to marquee selection initially and that just lets me select more than one and then I'm going to make sure I'm in the top view Make sure I'm perfectly level like so and then I can zoom way out and now I can draw my floor plan like this without any particular worry so I'm just going to give myself a bit of a feel for the size of the apartment that's difficult because I've got my screens there we go that's better now I can see what I'm doing so I can see that there is a you know, two and a half three meter cut in in this corner so that's one two three I can select those polygons and then I'm just going to cut out a chunk kind of in that region and now we can just go to geometry editing delete selected polygons and they're gone like so next thing we've got about a one meter cut in in this top corner up here that so we can go with that that. And again, we're going to delete selected polygons. And I'm just going to hit yes there. Now I know I'm working in this area, so it's a little difficult, but I'm basically trying to get the general outline of the shape of the apartment before I do anything else. 
So we've got this section here. And if I need to cut in a bit more, like I think I've actually need to cut in a, a touch more because there's a, a cut in, then we can always do that as well. So I would say that's probably more like four meters this length. So I'm going to, I've got two, four, three and a half. So if I zoom right in, I can see what's going on a little bit better. And the, the, the important thing here is to make sure that you're giving yourself enough to work with. So I might actually just go to four and a half meters there and delete those polygons like that. And then if I need to trim off a little bit more later, I can do. And I'm seeing a... And what you're really interested in is the internal dimensions of the apartment at this point, because you can always move the walls around once you start putting those in to enable you to be able to cover up any little mistakes and things like that. So the internal dimensions, I'm seeing a one meter cut in, one meter by one meter here. So that's that, and we're gonna delete those polygons there like that perfect then it comes along about one about two four six so that's one two three four five six and then there's a another one meter cut in so we need to cut out this guy here and we're going to delete those polygons as well And then we have something like a another two meters. So I can select this polygon. I can go one, two, cut out that chunk there. Like that. And then it comes out another one meter and then there's another two meter cut in just there. like that and obviously all of this extra gum that's over here we can get rid of later we just want to make sure that we get the rough kind of build correctly now i'm seeing a four meter uh stick out like this so we've got one meter there we need to go one two three like that and we're going to delete those polygons as well now i'm just going to straighten up the there we go that's better and now I'm seeing a four meter cut down like this. So we're going to select all of this, but we're gonna go one, two, three, four. I'm gonna measure twice, cut once, one meter, two meters, three meters, four meters. Geometry editing, delete, selected polygons like that. And so that's that bit done. Now we're gonna add a one meter cut in just here for a one meter cut down so we can do that like so then it's one meter down then it's two meters across so we're going to count those out like so we're going to be a little bit more careful here because i think there's a cut back in so we're going to delete those selected polygons there and that's that then it comes in at a diagonal which is where things get a bit awkward because the main living room of this apartment is actually at a 45 degree angle to the rest of the apartment so what i want to do is come back to that one momentarily because we can move the walls and put them at 45 degrees no problem but obviously the floor we have half meter squares to work with so we need to be a little bit more careful on that one okay so on this side we've got four meters one two three four so we can remove those for probably about five meters. One, two, three. I want to go with four meters. So one, two, three, four meters just there. Delete selected polygons like that. Then there's a 45 degree cutout which obviously we aren't particularly interested in. So now we kind of need to rotate so that we're actually at 45 degrees, just so we can see a little bit more clearly when we are cutting in. So it comes out and then a moment or two later, the actual length here is 
in the region again looking at the internal diameters uh, the internal dimensions of the room we've got probably two four eight probably eight meters from here the room starts to cut in at a 45 degree angle so we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight so here we start our line downwards but we have to make sure that we get all of the polygons relevant and there's nothing past that part of the room so we can actually delete those polygons like that and that gives us the edge border for our room like so now because we weren't uh, perfectly at 45 degree angle there we've got a little bit of a weird shape going on so if I wanted to I could undo um, but I'm not going to I'm, I'm gonna stick with that for now that's fine we can we can work around that again by placing walls again nobody's gonna see the outside of this room they're only gonna see the inside so that's perfectly fine so the next thing we want to do is check the length of this wall so I'm seeing one two three four basically the edge of this room is kind of level with the edge of this room so I'm going to come down a couple of polygons like that perhaps a bit lower I think that's maybe a little bit too high up so let's go with there and then we can just delete all of these polygons here like so and then as you can see we've got our cut in just here where that room is so we can now we can start trimming out these and I'm going this is where I'm going to switch to drag selection or lasso selection I'm going to stick with drag just for now so our room it comes in I'm actually going to try to keep that relatively locked in there and we can just delete all of this rubbish here geometry editing delete selected polygons like that and that gives us the rough shape of our room and the rest of this we can block out using walls but that is essentially the general shape and it looks a bit i'll admit it does look a bit weird right now with the um extra stuff so i'm going to switch back to marquee selection that we can select all of the polygons which we don't need anymore and you're thinking yeah that was a massive shape but we didn't use we're probably using about a quarter of it that's fine um it's better to have too much than too little because you can always delete the things that you're not using you can't add them once the shapes created once the primitive has been created so we're going to go to deleting all of this gump like that cool so now what we've got is our floor plan and if i go out of y shaded back into texture shaded mode again and deselect our shape like that and now i can select that and i can move it around using my there and we can actually move that back into world center now that the, you could argue that the the widgets in a weird place but you you should never theoretically have to move this floor plan because this is like the foundation this is the thing that everything else is going to sit on so that's going to stay locked in place so i'm actually going to rename that to floor like so and then if we go reset our camera you can get a bit more of a feeling of the scale it's actually quite a bit bigger than it looks when you're zoomed all the way out and that is our floor plan so in the next episode we can start adding some walls to this thanks very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that let me know what you think in the comments below um, and i'll see you next time take care of yourselves until then guys bye bye